Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today's system is from the user Minute Cubed in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending their simulation. And without further ado, let's catch straight on. So, it's already in the subscribe, ready to rock and roll. So, there it is there. It's called the Mac Zimmer System version 3.3. So, let's see what we have got here. Okay. Alrighty, looking pretty good. Okay, so... All the way down to the beginning as always. So the Maximus system has a total of 40 major objects, 1 star, 13 planets, 8 rockies and 5 gases, 1 major asteroid, 2 dwarf planets and the rest are little moons of planets. Advice. The system is stable but not extent so unpausing may not be recommended. Also use flashlight mode. All objects are customised. Very, very nice. Okay, so the star itself, 33% greater in both mass and radius than the sun, is an F-type star that hosts 13 planets. Very, very nice. Okay, so the first of the planets here, we have got, ooh, ooh, I like that, hang on, let's have a, have a good look, ooh, hello, okay, yeah, we're on flashlight, aren't we? I like the way he looks good, doesn't he? That one looks good. So, the first planet from the Maximus, it's scorching hot out of temperatures over 600 degrees Celsius, it has a thick cloud with a clean atmosphere, despite its decent mass, it is the only planet with no moons due to its close distance to the star. It's a good looking world, I like the strong clouds on it, actually. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty uh, pretty mad there. That's looking pretty hot. Okay, all right. So next up, we are heading to uh, Popsy, the second planet from Maximus. Another lava well uh, worth, but almost two times larger uh, than uh, Latinab. Um, it is large enough and has one moon, a small moon, Canter, which is three times cooler than the Popsy. Okay, so here we go. So it's extremely Bright with the atmosphere looks as well. Okay, there you go. There's a, there's a good look at it in below. Let's have a look. I want to actually see what... I want to go to realistic. I'll see if that looks on that mode as well. There's a better look at it with the uh, atmosphere. You can see like, the, uh, the bright atmosphere effect. Looks pretty good actually, doesn't it? And we'll move to the first one again because I kind of want to see that from... Uh... Oh, it's doing the automatic again. I'll oh, stop with that. That's so annoying. Realistic. It's keeping his atmosphere back. There you go. says that one with the realistic look. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, cool. So there's both those guys. Next up, we've got Garm. Okay, ah, oh, so annoying. It keeps defaulting. I've, I've not, how do you... I'm not sure how you keep it from doing that nowadays. It's a bit annoying, that auto feature. Uh, next up, we've got Garm. The third planet, which fakes being a lava planet with its colour. Its surface is an ugly orange and black. It has an asteroid moon of Vossa. There he is. Very nice. Next up, we've got a Hattable World by the looks of things. So, P. Shiko. Looks very nice, actually. A very, very good looking Earth White World there. It is. So, sim underneath. Clouds and atmosphere on. Looks great. Let's see it on um, the realistic lighting mode. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? It's a, it's, a elite, it's a very, very Earth like looking world. It does look good. I like that. That's a very, very nice looking Earth flight world. Um, okay, so the fourth planet from uh, uh, the star is Hattable. It has a decent atmosphere of liquid alter oceans. It's similar to Venus in mass, radius and density. Um, it has a large moon, Minea, which is a Pluto like surface. There you go. Looking good. There's this uh, moon. Pretty simple there. Okay, cool. So next up, we're heading to Ragash over here. The fifth planet from the star is a bit it's a bit less ma less than two times more massive than Earth with a thick blue atmosphere. It has only one icy moon just like the or it has only one icy moon just like the planet Sure. Okay. So there he is. It's a planet and moon in the background. Looking good. There he is, okay. Nice. Yes, so we've got Halimau over here. Ooh. Wait. Okay. Very green and black on appearance. That's what it looks like underneath. It's really dark. Okay. The sixth planet, the, the sixth planet an alternate choice for a Hattable world. Um, or alternate cloise. I mean, a few of these choices, isn't he? Um, for a Hattable world, but it's a bit too hot for that. It still has some large liquid water bodies. It has one moon named uh, Angar, which is also good temperature for liquid water. There he is. Okay. Looking good. Next up, we've got Mikash over here. Oh, hang on. And then we've got, oh yeah, we've got this one first, yes. Um, 
So the seventh planet from a star, it has a thick blue atmosphere and speedy clouds. It has 3.4 times more massive than Earth and has an extremely large moon, uh, Itzy, which is larger than Mercury, Mars and uh, Latnab. Uh, it's the largest moon in the whole system. Okay. So a nice blue uh, glow on it. There's the uh, moon. There you go with the clouds. So that's a very, very nice bright blue appearance there, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it looks good with a realistic lighting mode. Uh, I like the two-tone sort of appearance almost. See, it phases you get closer. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. All right. We've got an asteroid belt here. Okay. Now we're heading to Mikash. The eighth planet from the star has a tight like atmosphere with green clouds. It is the most massive rocky planet with a mass of almost 15 Earths. Mikash is more massive than Uranus. It is believed that it is the remains of a really big gas giant. So it's the core then. Um, yep. Um, which lost its atmosphere when the system was unstable. It is only... Hang on, right, okay, so now we're going to the moon. Okay, so this moon, Rag, Rag is a, is its only cheesy major moon. Also the only rocky with rings. Okay. There you go. An interesting combo, those two. Okay. Now we're heading to Sham. There's a comet there as well. I haven't seen what that is. I'm just going to have a quick peek on that. I don't know if there's a description for it. Yeah, there is no description for it. But here it is. Or random dwarf world. It doesn't have a. Uh, didn't have a description, did it? It's a little secret, like comet like world there. But anyway, it's going to the next world now. So we've got Sham. Ooh, hello. Okay. Looking good. Nice. The knife planet. It has wooden coloured bands, which were all with sharp blue poles. It is almost a massive planet in the system. Well, it's the most massive planet in the system, but not quite the largest. It has four major moons named Paldo, uh, Lada, Bada, Matzi, and Isa. So here they are. There is the lineup. So the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. Fourth one probably being the point of interest. There you go. Okay. Next up, we're heading to. Uh, Bar is Barsin. Uh, I should I say that one? Uh, where is it? I'm guessing it's. Ah, oh, there it is, yep. Bar Isn. That's got a nice, interesting band colour, isn't it? It's like half ice giant, half gas giant. It's quite an interesting. From the blue, you'd look at that and say that's an ice giant, but then up here, you say it's a gas giant. Quite an interesting mix, isn't it? It's a cool concept, actually. Um. So the 10th planet, it is the largest planet by radius and second largest by mass, just after Sham. It has three major moons, Kramin, Undi, and Tusti. It's a nice looking planet, that is. I quite like the two-tone between the gas and the ice giant appearance. That actually looks really cool. Oh, it's got the little rings in the moon as well. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. That looks quite good, actually. I like that. Undi. And the last one over here. There they go. Cool. Right. Next up, we're heading to the eleventh of the planets, which is over here. Mevengum. That's a full-on ice giant. Nice ring system. The ant planet from uh, Maximus, the smallest gassy. It is less massive than Mikash, which is a rocky planet. It is a really windy world with winds blowing over three thousand kilometers an hour. It has four major moons: Oka, Lai, uh, Ritsina, uh, Ramal, and Tra Troma. So they all are there. That one's got an interesting look. Purple with the white craters. Looking good. Trauma there. And remodel. This one has an interesting look to it. Oh. Sort of like a little pole almost going on there. Alright. So there they are. Looking good. And next up we've got Nazpia. Which is... Where are we heading? Where is that? There he is. Oh, another looking... I like the work... I like the design of these gas giants in this system. It's a very, very cool lineup, actually. The 12th planet from the uh, from Maximus with cyan and grey bands. It's the coldest, furthest, and densest among the gases. It has four major moons. Um, Ixis, Ask, Das, uh, das and Gapolis. I really like the gas giant appearances there. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Cratered up. Very, very cratered. Oh, yes. Uh, then we've also got this one. Next moon out over there. That one's got an interesting appearance as well. Look at that. Okay, there you go. Gapolis here. 
Almost like an IO looking appearance there. Looks like it's used the IO texture actually. Yeah, it's definitely IO texture. Nice. And then lastly, we've got Darpen, which is here. There you go. Another another cool looking gas shown. Alrighty. Another ring system. The final planet um, from uh, Maximus. The ice shines similar to Uranus and Neptune, somewhat in between, with pinkish poles. It's a bit too far from the system, only has one major moon. That's all for the system. Hope you liked it. I did. I really like the design of those gas giants. I think they're definitely the standout. I really like that Earth light world as well. I thought that was a really good looking design. Just look, It looked clean, it looked fresh, and it looked um, highly detailed. So we've got another interesting little rogue object over here. Very nice. And then there was uh, this one as well. This one didn't have a description, but there's a dwarf planet there as well. Alrighty, so that was crossing across some of the orbits. But let's go back to that cool gas giant again. It was was it this one? The one with the... Uh... No, it was the one before, wasn't it? It was the ten planet 10, wasn't it? I think it was this one. Was it this one? Oh, which one was it? I'm sure it was the... That one, wasn't it? Had the moon with the ring, didn't it? Yeah, there it is. This is cool. I like this. These are the these are the two coolest in there. I mean, for me, the thumbnail will probably be something like this. It just looks cool. I like it. It's got the rings. I like that. I really like the two tone ice and gas giant kind of look together. Like half of it's ice giant, half of it's gas giant in appearance. That's really really cool. And I've not really seen someone do something like that before. So, yeah, that's definitely the standout. But anyways, let's get a full lineup of everyone. So there you go. To eat the rings, get a good look at them all. But the gas giant design, really, really like. Really like the design. This one's really cool as well. That's cool. Quite like the pinky one. Got more of a muralistic sort of ice giant color there. Then you got the more like regular gas giant appearance. But that's cool. I like that. That's a great looking mod. It's almost got like a little like red spot little there. The way that's blended together. A few of those. It's cool. I like it. So there we are, everybody. What do you think of this lineup? Quite an interesting lineup. There's the cool Earth flight world. It's a great looking Earth flight world that is. Nice, lots of clouds dotted everywhere. Quite a realistic look, I think. I quite like the hot planets as well. They were pretty cool. But yeah, there we are, everyone. So what do you think of that system? I liked it. Really, really like those gas giants. But yeah, anyways, a massive thank you again to the creator of this system, Minute Cube, for sending this in. Really appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more, help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And yeah, let's try and go for those 100 likes as well. That would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, that everyone, and all like that. with that all said and done, everybody, Hope you have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.